What the heck was that? Out of my way! Out of my way! Can't you see he's gonna kick my butt? Hi there, young people. It's a nice day today. So, you like kicking butts, do ya? Well, we'll show you, old man! Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I am a little bit sick today, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit lower than usual, but I had to make an emergency video today. Millions of people around the world last night were just treated to a gigantic scam job at the hands of Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. That fight was equivalent to a fit young person walking into a nursing home and beating the ever-living snot out of one of the residents. And I don't really know what we were expecting. Mike Tyson's almost 60 years old. Jake Paul's like half his age. And I get it, well, nine 99.9% .9 of the viewing audience wanted Jake Paul to get knocked on his butt by Mike Tyson. That just wasn't in the cards. The only experience I have in boxing is playing the Wii Boxing game and trying my best not to get knocked out in the second round. I was horrible at that game. But the opportunity to watch Iron Mike for the first time in my life was a reason enough to watch this fight. I mean, that is, if you could even get into the fight. Most people were stuck watching the Netflix buffering circle the whole time. And just for reference, I made it about 19 seconds into the fight before I experienced the buffering circle as well. It took us a whole two rounds to get back into the fight. But honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if our connection was established because nothing happened during the whole fight. From round three on, I'm pretty sure Mike didn't even land more than two solid blows. His legs looked weak and out of shape and he literally had a knee brace on his right leg. It was clear that if he had even tried to be aggressive and start striking Jake, Jake would have had the ability to just move out of the way. So rightly enough, people are calling this fight a complete scam and are saying that it was completely rigged from the beginning. And I don't blame them one bit. And to make matters worse, for those of you who weren't lagging during the Netflix stream and got to see the Mike Tyson pre-match interview, you probably also got to see a whole lot more of Mike Tyson than you wanted to see. Thank you, Jen. Love you. Love you, too. That's right, before the fight last night, we all got to see Iron Mike's iron ass. It was completely uncensored, it was clearly a mistake, and they clearly tried to correct it by zooming in on his back right after the interview. From the word go, this fight had tons of hype because people thought that Iron Mike was finally going to silence Jake Paul. He was finally going to be the one that knocked this social media YouTuber on his butt. And I'll admit that I was also in the same camp of believing that. I thought that surely the greatest boxer of all time would win this fight and we could finally all be done with the gym. Jake Paul BS. After all, I refuse to give him any credit until he fights a boxer who is at the top of boxing in their prime and is able to go toe to toe with someone like that. It is still kind of cool for him and his family that he got to fight Iron Mike Tyson, but to do it in this way, is it really exciting? Do you feel proud of yourself beating up an old man? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. At the end of the day, both guys ended up taking home a massive amount of money. To be exact, around 40 million for Jake Paul and about 20 million for Mike Tyson. So I really don't think either of them is too upset with the outcome of the match. But as a casual viewer myself, someone who has never really watched boxing matches but decided to watch the matches last night, I really have to say that that was the most boring match I could have ever asked for and I don't think I ever want to watch another one of Jake Paul's fights ever again after that. But my big question is why did this fight even happen in the first place? Mike even stated that he almost died back in June, so what is he doing in this fight? The fight had to get rescheduled because of that, but it should have been canceled completely. I mean, who's your next opponent, Jake? Is it Joe Biden? And after the fight, Jake had this to say. At any point, did you start to take your foot off the gas just a little bit because you noticed he was tiring out? Yeah, definitely. Definitely a bit. You know, I wanted to give the fans a show, but I didn't want to hurt someone that didn't need to be hurt. D did you carry Mike? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, like I just, there was a point where, you know, I was just like, okay, he's not really engaging back. And so it, I don't know if he's tired or whatever. And I could just tell, you know, his age was showing a little bit. And I just have so much respect for him. That like violence war thing between us, like after he slapped me, I wanted to, you know, be aggressive and take him down and not knock him out and all that stuff, but that kind of went away as the rounds went on. So why did this match happen in the first place? Well, I'll tell you, it's because of that cold, hard cash, baby. I feel like both men had the capability of knocking each other out, but I feel like if Mike was in his prime, this match wouldn't have gone more than 30 seconds, and Jake Paul would have been laying on the mat looking up at the Tweety Birds above his head. And the real fight that was going on the whole time was just the viewers trying to fight Netflix to get in to even watch the thing in the first place. I can't believe that I even remotely blocked out time in my 
day to be able to watch that match live. It was the biggest waste of 30 minutes I could have possibly imagined. I want to get in a time machine to go back to 1998 and try to convince people that in 2024, a near 60 year old Mike Tyson will be fighting a kid from Disney Channel over the World Wide Web via the company that rents DVDs via mail. I sure hope we're done with the clown show that is Jake Paul trying to fight all these random retired people or UFC fighters. It's been a giant circus and I'm so sick of it. This quote pretty much shows that it was a giant scam the whole time and Mike had no business being in the ring last night. Real winners are the ones who didn't watch the fight. Got a great eight hours of sleep. Watched this in two and a half minutes. Still felt like a waste of time. It's almost like they agreed to do a friendly boxing match to make tons of money. This fight could have been an email. These two just pulled off the biggest heist in boxing history. Who lost dad? We all did son. We all did. I didn't pay and I still want my money back. We've all been swindled. It was all a lie just to scam us out of our money. Jake's already talking about his next opponent, Muhammad Ali. It'll be interesting to see if Muhammad Ali is able to last eight rounds against Jake Paul considering that he has already passed away. But in all seriousness, he's already mentioned Conor McGregor as a possible next fight. Please, for the love of everything that's good in this world, if you're watching this video, don't watch any more of Jake Paul's fights. Let's end the madness now. Let's round out today's video the only way I know how, with Mike Tyson crushing a child's dreams. What type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Well, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. That's just some word everybody grabbed onto. Now it's used every five seconds. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die, and it's going to be over. Who cares about a legacy after that? What yeah. a big ego. So I'm going to die. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. I'm No, we're nothing. We're just dead. We're dust. We're absolutely nothing. Our legacy is nothing. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Way to go, Mike. You just traumatized a girl for the rest of her life. If you're still watching this video, I just want to thank you so much for watching to the end today. I think you're way more than just dust. Subscribe to become slightly askew like me. And if you want to watch a video where I'm not sick and I'm actually a little bit more funny, be sure to click the video on the screen right here. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about that horrendous Netflix special with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Until next time, all I have left to say is have a great day and bye-bye.